In this video, we'll be looking at how to set up all those knobs on your MIDI controller. Let's look at how to assign a hardware control on your controller keyboard to a particular software synth parameter. In our first example, we're going to assign filter cutoff in Batzilla CM to a rotary encoder on our Akai MPK249. To begin, load an instance of Batzilla CM into your door and select the antivirus preset. Click the cog icon in the upper right corner to enter the MIDI CC Learn mode, in which we can match the MIDI controller messages transmitted by hardware controls to any parameter that's illuminated green. We want to assign filter cutoff, so click the filter cutoff knob in Batzilla CM's central filter panel. Next, simply move the desired control on your device to set up the link. Doing this lets the synth know to map the controller message transmitted by the knob you just moved to the parameter you just selected. If you now play the sound and wiggle the control, you should see and hear the filter opening and closing accordingly. Here's another example how to do the same thing in Native Instruments Massive. It's a similar approach, but this time each control has its own separate learn mode, as opposed to a global mode for the entire synth. In this case, simply right-click on the control you want to assign and select MIDI Learn from its pop-up menu. Again, wiggle the control you want to use on your device for that parameter. Here we're assigning one of the macros in the 1991 preset to a rotary encoder on our Akai MPK249. If your controller has enough encoders, you could try assigning all of the eight macros each to a separate control and see what kind of fun you can have tweaking them as you play. Once assigned, you can record the changes into your door as your track progresses, meaning that they'll then be played back in all their glory. This is such an easy way to get movement into your tracks, that once you've worked out how to assign your favourite controls and your favourite synths, you'll never want to go back to static sounds ever again. <laughs> 